Hi guys. So I figured today we could film a video showing you guys my updated drawers here. These are my drawers that I have all of my blushes, bronzers, highlighters, and face palettes. So it sits behind me when you see videos. So if you're interested, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay guys, so the first drawer as you guys can see is powders and bronzers. So I'm just gonna go through them really quickly with you guys. So you guys can kind of see an updated kind of a view of this and see, yeah, updated view. So on this side right here are my, my powders. Two of them are in my everyday makeup drawer. Hi, can you see my reflection? And then these are the three that I have. This is the only pressed powder that I do own in here and I have yet, I've used it, but not often. Let me just return, reverse this so you guys don't get burnt. Um, the reflection doesn't mess you guys up. This one's a Laura Mercier one, which is my oldest one. And then this one is Beauty Bakery, which I love to use in the summertime. So there's only four. And then the other ones that I do have is a under eye setting powder and my Charlotte Tilbury magic powder that they no longer make. So here, are all of my bronzers that I have. Sorry you guys, I have long sleeves on today because you guys know that this room gets really cold and I don't wanna put on the space heater because then you guys can't hear me because of the space heater. So we're gonna run through these, oops, I just hit the thing. We're gonna run through these really quickly so you guys can see exactly what I have in here. So I have both of the Bare Minerals ones that they no longer make. These are the baked ones. I really like this. This is the medium and then the fair to light, which I like to use in the winter time. Currently I have a bronzer that I'm trying to hit pan on. So I'm not using those. This is one of my oldest, but my favorites buxom. They don't make this one anymore. Tahiti. As you guys can see, I've really used this one a lot and I really like this one for the summertime. Two of my Nabla ones, the Ombra and the soft revenge. Then I have quite a few, oh, I think I have two of these. So two of my hourglass one here is this one, which is radiant bronze. And then I have a uh, nude bronze. These two I like to use in the summertime. So let's move on. I have ritual, which is like a bronze blush. They don't make this anymore. Love that. And then bronze number three, which is her baked one. I don't know if they still make this one, but I really do like that one as well. <clears throat> then I have my makeup forever number 20 medium I've tried to pan this this is an ongoing one still have it and I still really like it Tahiti by Laura Geller this is one of my favorites in the summertime global glow by Mac oh my goodness this is so pretty in the summer give me glow again another summer bronzer as you can tell I love to bronze in the summer this one is sun dipped. It is a permanent one, I believe, but it is, is limited edition packaging. I have a really nice dip in here. Still have yet to hit pan on that one. <laughs> Refied Golden, which is one that I really do like when I really want to bronze myself up. Then I have three of the old school Too Faced. They have upgraded their packaging, but these take forever to use up, so I don't care. This one is your typical medium to deep chocolate soleil. So I have that. I have Beach Bunny, which is one of my favorites in the summer again. And Sun Bunny, another one that I absolutely love in the summer. Here is a NARS. What is this one? Laguna, but I believe this is like their gelée formula. I've never used it and I still have it in its packaging. I don't know why it's still in its packaging. Oh, I think, so I don't want it. See, I haven't used it yet but I will eventually. I'm just trying to get through other bronzers before I get to it. I know this is one that I love and I keep it in the packaging solely because I don't want the actual, you know how it turns all yuckified when you leave it out and expose their packaging, their feeling of it. Here is a NARS Laguna, the typical NARS Laguna. So I have both of these back here. And then the third one that I have is this large Laguna one. So I'm set with Laguna and let me tell you, oh my goodness, the pad, this thing came off of it. But I love this. Laguna is one of my favorites. I think it is my top favorite bronzer ever. I love it. So moving on, Laura Mercier's, um, what is this one? Soleil Matte. I like this one more in the summertime. It's very warm. Same thing with Hula. I don't like Hula in the winter. I only like it in the summertime. And that's going to take me forever to use. 
my cover fx sun kiss bronze i love this love this one it's a shame that i can't get that in sephora anymore bg by uh sephora another one i love that's a nice neutral one and then this one is los cabos this is another neutral beautiful blush and then i have both of these by kevin aquan the bronzing one the celestial the cooler tone one and then i also have let me put that there so you guys can see the rest and then this one's the tropical one this is the warmer version of them I like these in the summer a lot i don't know if he makes these anymore but i got these on a, a, a very good steal so i bought both of those okay so i moved you guys over here because obviously i showed you these these are my larger bronzers that i do have um i lay them out so i can see them so this is the Too faced uh, sweetheart one and it's off of its packaging, but this is one of my favorites. And I would use this one right now if I didn't have one that I am currently using up. This is um, Laura Mercier Warm Bronze, the loose version. Oh, this is so beautiful. She doesn't make this anymore. Love it. Then I have three of the Laura Geller Baked Face and Body Bronzers. But these are so, my gosh, these are so good. This one is in Tahiti Glow. Oh, you can use this all over your body or your face. I love to use these all over my face in the summer. It's just that perfect, natural, glowy bronze. Can't beat it. This one's Honey Glow. This is more like a highlighter, highlighting bronze. So I put that all over my body or as a highlighter if I want. And then Hawaiian Glow is another one I just love. And these are massive. I've had these for so long, but I still use them every summer. And then the last one is by Elise Watier. This was actually a dupe for Ritual. Um, by Laura Mercier. My friend Lisa sent this over to me years ago and I still use this one till this day. Love this one as well. So that's all of my bronzers that I have in my collection. All right, so here's my second drawer. Now, after that major declutter that I did um, during the holiday season, these are all of my single blushes. I don't have any single blushes anywhere else. This is it. This is my whole entire blush collection. And it is still a lot, but I don't have, I used to have, two drawers for blushes, two drawers for highlighters. I have condensed it so much that I am down to one drawer of just blushes, single blushes, and one drawer of just highlighters. So I have bronzer, blush, highlighter, and then the rest are face palettes. So I'm getting there. I haven't gotten there yet as far as condensing it even more, but I'm proud of myself for where I stand. So let's run through these really quickly. I'm not going to go through every single one, but you guys can see an overview of exactly what I have in here. So I have three more of these Lorac blushes left and I have played around with these. Love these. Um, so yeah, I have cinematic, tell, uh, technicolor and prism are my last three shades that I had. I had more, but I have gotten rid of them since these two are my only two cargo blushes. These are by far my favorite blushes. I mean, like seriously, I can't get enough of these. I use these constantly. I just pulled these out again during the, this time of year. This one is Prague and to uh, Topeka. They don't make these anymore. And you guys, I love these. These are going to last me a lifetime. These have so much product in them. Um, I can't see here how much product, but it's in a ridiculous amount of product, but I love these two blushes. We'll never get rid of them. All here are all of my, uh, Laura Geller ones. I have since gotten rid of some. This is her updated packaging and this is her old school packaging. Some of my favorites is like that I have poison berry. I have pink buttercream. Tropic Hues is, is your typical one that everyone loves. Uh, Rosenberry was another limited edition one, I believe. Um, Bora Bora. This one's a really pretty light pink. Um, pink grapefruit is another one I genuinely love. Here's Sunswept, I believe. Yep, Sunswept, one of my favorite summer ones. And the last one back here, ooh, don't honeysuckle is another summer one. These you can still purchase some of these shades, not all of these shades. And um, I will tell you that the reason why I don't buy baked blushes, like the essence ones that just recently came out, because I remembered I had these and I love these a lot. All right, so this row, this row, and this row are all of my MAC blushes. I have the Extra Dimension blushes as well as their baked, their mineralized baked blushes. Basically have almost all the shades in them. I just love these. They're some of my favorite. Like if I were to choose one and only one, it would I would fight between MAC and Lorac, or Lorac, MAC and NARS. 
Those are my two favorite blushes and they last a lifetime. And when I did my back to MAC, I just found out that MAC has discontinued even more of these shades that I own, that I love, like Honey Jasmine's no longer in existence. Style, I believe, is discontinued. Spring Sheen is another one that got discontinued. I mean, a ton of them got discontinued. So these are ones that I will never get rid of and they're going to take me forever to use. And even the manager of MAC has said he has some for years and as long as you disinfect them and they don't break you out you can use these mac blushes for a really long time because they're made for that i know some people are skittish with keeping blushes or powdered products for a long time but i don't mind at all so these are all of my mac blushes guys i can do a whole separate video on my whole entire collection here i have gotten rid of some not a ton but i have gotten rid of some these are just by far my favorite my ones that i can guarantee and um no matter what time of the year, I know I can trust these. The only Milani blush that I still have is the OG Luminoso. I still have all intentions of panning this. I'm not getting rid of this. I don't care how old it is. I still love it and I still want to use it. I have not been able to reach for it because I've been reaching for other blushes. I have four, uh, four of these blushes left of Clinique. They're my favorite. Actually, I have five. There is a drawer on my desk. Let me show you. This drawer I have on my desk. These are the ones that I'm rotating in. So I still have another Laura Geller one in Barry. These are the ones that I'm using right now. And this is another one. This is Plum Foolery. Um, Nabla's Adults Only. Laura Geller Spice Cider that's no longer in existence. NARS Sin. And this one is called uh, Black Honey, the one that's in a project pan. So right now, these are the ones that are on my desk that I'm rotating. As you guys know, I'm trying to rotate through my blushes because last year I neglected them. So this is how I do it. I'll pull in a few, use them for the week or two, and then pull more out and bring more in. So these are the ones that are on my desk right now. Oh my God, I had one more Lorac one on my desk, Spectera, which I, that's the one I'm currently wearing today. This is the one I'm wearing today. So, all right, back to where we were. These are all of my Becca blushes. I've only gotten rid of one. I still love these and still use this. Fox Glove is one that I used yesterday. So I still love this. Flower Child, Snapdragon, Wild Honey, Danzel Fly, Tiger Lily, and I should have Snapdragon or Sweet Pea, I'm sorry. Sweet Pea. So these are the ones that I have. Some of them, these are starting, some of these are getting a little bit sticky. So if that's the case, I will just put rubbing alcohol on them and that should take off the stickiness. Same thing with my NARS. I had two rows of NARS and I have since let go of quite a bit of NARS blushes that I just, that I just haven't reached for in a long time. So I have a more Oasis, which they no longer make blue. They no longer make Gina. They no longer make Taj Mahal. They still have Love Joy is another one they no longer make which is sucky Viverte, i believe is still around luster is no longer being made still love that one bumpy ride is available still unlawful i don't think they make this anymore madly they no longer make this one as well torrid is still available T T toss is still available misconduct is not i believe i can't remember if that one's available or not then we have deep throat and orgasm in the back you guys know your typical ones um this is oasis they don't make this anymore either gulu is the one that we got in that mini i got it in a lot that's the only one that i have like that gina is one of my favorites and this is taj mahal one of my unique ones so yeah i don't nars has also discontinued quite a bit and this is why i don't like all of a lot of them but this is it for my collection except for the one sin which is in my drawer these are all of my benefit box blushes i only have four i don't these are all discontinued, by the way. They have the new ones, so I'm not letting go of these. I love these shades. Rockator is by far my favorite pink ever, and it's no longer in existence, and I've used this one a ton. I plan to pan it one day, but right now, at least it got its use. These are all of my Hourglass Ambient ones. I have Mood Exposure Diffused, Heat Brilliant New Diffused, infused, Dim Infusion, and Incandescent Electra these are no longer made and i love these this is why i never bought the new buxom ones because i have these three buxom ones that i love so this is trust which is a beautiful um warm color for the winter time really like that one this is definitely one of my favorites uh levitate levitate love this one you can clearly see how much i've used this one this is one of my summer favorites adore this one it gives like that glow I love that one so much. And then this one's the other one, Intoxicate, which is a little bit brighter. Kind of reminds me of the 
Mac, this one, the uh, Pedal Power. You can kind of tell they're similar, like it has that glow going that they have. I love these kind of blushes in the summertime. So yeah, I'm not letting go of these. I don't care how old these are. I still use these every year, every year faithfully. Love them. Then here are all of my uh, Nabla ones. I have Truth, Lola, and Independence. Independence is one that I use this time of year. I've already used it this month. Um, adore these. Adults only is in my drawer right now. And then back here are my Game Beauty ones that I just went through a whole entire um, try on first impressions. I have been playing around with them, but I wanted to put them in the drawer for you guys to see them in here. So they had their spot in here and you can clearly see, I don't have anything like those blushes. Then over here, we have our bigger ones. These are all of my cover FX ones. I don't think they make these anymore. Spiced cinnamon is so beautiful for this time of year. Love this one. Then I have pink Dahlia, warm honey and soft peach. Those are some of my favorites. I have one, um, what is this? In number nine, Valentino blush. This was sent to me in PR. It's a beautiful shade. So I really like that. Cheapy plasticky packaging though. Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. Love that one. My only Pat McGrath one. I got this as a free gift. I ain't complaining about that one. This one is in the shade. Oh, it doesn't have it on here. Amore something. Oh, there it is. Aphrodite Amore. So I have that. Then I have Rosé by Laura Mercier. Really like this one. It has a glitter in it, but if you tap off your brush, it'll come off and it's a beautiful blush. Then at the end over here, I have my three and only three Chanel blushes. Jersey, um, Alizane, and Rose Bronze. So yeah, I've never seen them. I think, I forget which one's the one that I use the most. I think it's Alizane. This is the one that I always use. Just one of my favorites. You can clearly see it's been well loved, you guys. Well loved. So these are my only three high end. I don't have any Dior blushes or anything like that. These are ones that I really have wanted and adored. So guys, these are all of my blushes. Now you guys have seen an overview of my blushes. If you want to see anything in detail, swatches, let me know. But I just wanted to give you an overview of my blushes. Okay, hey guys. So now this is all of my highlighters. I have less highlighters than I do of blushes, which is nice. Um, I have gone through these quite a bit over time to try to get rid of ones that I'm not going to use as often or just don't aren't my jam anymore. But I still like highlighter. I'm the type of person that, like I've said a million times, I don't get rid of things just because they're not in trend. I keep them because they will be back in trend and that way I'm not spending my money again. So as long as I keep my stuff clean and disinfected, I'm good. So real quick. I have only one Jaclyn Hill. This is the free gift with purchase I got last year and Iced. Soulmate by Dose of Colors. One of my favorites. You can clearly see it's been loved. <laughs> the only makeup geek I have left is Luster in the single form, I should say. Two Wet n Wild Precious Petals is one of my favorites. I will always have this in my collection. I love this one. And then Bloom Time. This was a gift from my friend Lisa. It's that highlighty glow. Really like it. Natasha Denona's all over body and face. I wish I would have gotten the super one, but I didn't. And this one's just beautiful as it is. I have, um, four, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. Oh no. These are Burberry. <laughs> these are my Dior highlighters. I have it in a 102 and 03. So the pink, the gold, and then the darker gold. This one is in 01. Love these, you guys. If I were to keep any highlighters, I would keep high-end highlighters because they really don't show texture. And as I get older, I appreciate that more and more. So I have three of these and I do have two Burberry ones. This is when I was like fancy. I have it in 01 and 02. One's pink and one is gold. So that's what they look like. I have yet to use them because I just can't get myself to use them, but I will one day. I promise. I will. All right, up here I have my three Benefit box uh, highlighters, Dandelion, Cookie, and Tink Tickle. Tickle I love in the summertime because it's more of like that peach, I think, that glowy peachiness that I love. Cookie is one that I can use all year round even though it's very, very potent. And then Twinkle is one that I like to have as a glisten. You can clearly see I've used this one quite a bit. Oh, there I go dabbing it again. Okay, so I have those three. These they no longer make by Too Faced, two of my favorites, and I will never, ever get rid of these. Blinded by Light and Ray of Light. These were the Love Light 
blush or uh, highlighters. So pretty, so pretty. Really love the one for the summer and one for the winter time. Love both of these. I will never get rid of those. I will use those up. Then I have my two pixie ones. I don't think they make these anymore. Love these still. I don't care if they're blinding. I, you can you can always make a highlighter subtle. You don't have to be so heavy handed with it. So I, I, I like it drives me nuts when somebody says, oh, I'm getting rid of this because it's too much, too blinding. Well, you can buff it into your skin to not make it look. Well, anyway, that's a whole other story. It's a whole other story. These are my Nabla ones. I have the three ozone privilege and amnesia. Love all three. You can clearly see I've used all three. The only, I think this is the only Lancome single that I have in Sparkling Pesh. This is a beautiful one. Love that one for the summertime. And then this is my backup of Opal back here. And then I think I have my Tom Ford. Yes, my Tom Ford Duo in Mood Light. This is a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. This has also sentimental value, but I have used it. Um, this was not cheap. <laughs> I got it at a CCO, but it was a gift from Mr. Man, and I'm happy I've used it. I should use it more, but I just forget about it. So this is why I like that app that I have all my makeup in because I can clearly see everything without going through my drawers. So it is in the back of my mind that I need to use it. Persona Cali Glow in Zuma. Beautiful highlighter. Dig this one. The infamous Mary Lou. Can't get enough of this one. Then these are all of my Mac, you guys. If you want me to go through them in detail, I will in a different video. There's just a ton of them back here. Uh, Whisper of Guilt, um, Soft and Gentle. This is a limited edition one in Perfect Topping. It's a beautiful shade. Love that one. So Darling, uh, Lightscapade. So if you want a whole detail, I have them. And it goes all the way back here. Like I can feel them back here. <laughs> then over here, I have Steal a Kitten in the uh, single packaging. I've used up a full size of this already. I have three Becca Minis. These are the ones that were like uh, like a duo chromey kind. So this one is champagne uh, with like, this is a gold with a pink flex to it. This one was, this is like a, so unique. It looks horrible in the pan, but trust me, it looks beautiful on the skin. It's like a green, beigey brown, so pretty on the skin. And then the other one was like the, the one that flashes gold, the white that flashes gold. So I have all three of those. The only Lorac highlighter, Daylight. I got rid of the lighter version. It was just too light for me. Two Tarte highlighters in Exposed. And I have Stunner. Stunner is my favorite. I love this. And I have it in an actual palette. Love it. Snow Bunny is a beautiful highlighter. It doesn't look like a highlighter, but it is beautiful. And then I have my Becca ones. I have uh, Champagne Pop, Moonstone, and Opal. And that's the backup of Opal that one of you guys sent me. Thank you so very, very much. This is my original Opal. I love Opal. Luckily, it's still around. Then this one is Lilac Geode. This is really, really pretty on the skin. And then here is uh, Rose Quartz, another stunner. This is gorgeous. And then this one is uh, Prismatic Amethyst. I really like these. Like, these are very subtle. Like, they knew how to do highlighter. This one is the new uh, Heat Wave by Lancome. I had to get it. It's like that old G one. Oh, so pretty. Haven't used it yet. And then that's it, you guys. That's it for that row. Let me put these back. All right. So we went through these already. Here is Mally's um, Starlight. I really like this one. Very pretty. Then we have three of these Laura Geller ones in Gilded Honey, the infamous Gilded Honey. Peach Glow is one of my favorites and Charming Pink. Charming Pink. These they don't make anymore. So I still love these. These are so beautiful. The two Catrice ones, the, the rose one and then the gold one. You can clearly see I use these a ton. And then I have this one from Bodyography that was gifted to me by my friend Lisa. Really, really beautiful highlighter. This is called um, All Within, I believe, or something like that. So Hollywood by Anastasia. Still have it. I haven't used it yet, but I love it. Um, so these two are back there. And then these are my mm, Maybelline one. These two, this one is in San 
stone and this one is in diamond i love both of these and then this one was a limited edition knockout one i love this one also a gift all three of these were a gift they all came from canada so i don't know if you could have ever gotten them here i, I can't tell you that but they're they're all stunning i love them then if we move over here, I have all of my Bobby Brown, you guys. I can do a whole separate video on these. these. I have a ton of these. These are the oldest ones that I have in my collection. Really do love them, though. They are one of my favorites. Then down here, I have all different kinds. So this is obviously a Bobby Brown. I'll share that in a different video. These three are Laura Mercier, obviously the 01. Oops. 01. I'm all out of frame here. Indiscretion. Which is that gelée kind of formula so pretty and then we have devotion which is like that pinky one which i like too and then here is the amrezy one the infamous amrezy yes i still have this one and will not let go of that one uh old school estee lauder heat wave isn't that pretty yep ain't letting that one go and then these are all of the Smashbox ones. These three are the Smashbox ones. Um, yeah. Let's show you these. I'm never using, I not, I'm not gonna say I'm never, but I don't use these often. Can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? And then here. And then this one. Gorgeous. All right, last but not least is this row right over here. Here are the two Kevin Aquan ones that I do own in Starlight, which is the pink version. And then your typical Celestial that everyone and their mom wanted. So I ended up getting both of these. Then uh, these are all of my Jouer highlighters. So we have Topaz. And then we have, which is this one? Rose Gold. Skinny Dip is one of my favorites. Rose Quartz, really pretty one. And Citrine, the famous one that made Jouer famous, where are the highlighters? And then the last two I have is this duo by NARS and Jubilee, or Jubilation, is it? Yeah, Jubilation, really pretty. And then Hot Sand, which is no longer made by nars in there all right last but not least i pulled out all of my loose highlighters and any blushes that i had they're in a separate drawer because they don't fit in these two so i keep them separately so the first two that i have are these by lancome in absolute golden and absolute pesh i don't believe they make these anymore and if they do they are not in these massive packagings <laughs> anymore so i have those I have two highlighters by Laura Mercier in Starlight and Candlelight. They no longer make these either. These are stunning. Laura Mercier makes beautiful face products. Then I have all of these by Moon, Moon Play Cosmetics. This is an indie brand that works with like makeup artists and things. This is their blush in honeymoon it's a really really pretty blush it looks intimidating but it's not and then these are their four highlighters all of these products all these loose products including this one are all intended to either be used alone or to mix with other products for your face either foundation powder bronzer blush highlighter or whatever you want or you can use these alone so i have all four of their shades and they're beautiful this one in dolly sand reminds me of the one by um, becca they're beautiful really like these then i have last but not least all of my sydney grace is this it am i missing any nope sydney grace i have four highlighters loose highlighters these are by far my favorite i love these whipped berry sweet peach candid uh peach and diamond dust i believe the this maybe these three are available and this one isn't i'm not sure i know one of these was like a limited edition one from a mystery box which was this one i think you can get the rest of them so that's it you guys that's all that i have i will go through my face palettes if you want in the future my lip products if you want to do that as well i can go through and try to like share everything with you guys just to give you guys an updated um look of all of my collection i know i haven't done this in a really long time and i've been promising so i'm trying to do it little by little throwing them in here here and there so you can see what I own, you guys. That's all that I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in another video. Until then, adios.